Hey guys, welcome back to Dive the Rock. We come to you today from a beautiful dive site here in Okinawa. But again, we're gonna talk safety first, and Gary's here with me today to, to get the ball rolling. So Gary, what do you have for us? Absolutely, well, it is PCS season. We have a lot of new people arriving on island, and we have quite a few people that may have put their fins away for the winter, and they're thinking about breaking them out. If you haven't maybe been to one of these sites before, do, do a nice site survey. So do, can you walk us through what a site survey is? What you need to do when you get to a site is look at the overall site, evaluate the water conditions, evaluate the entry and the exit. We've got a nice easy one here. And judge for yourself whether you're comfortable with the entry, the exit, whether you're comfortable with the water conditions, whether you see you know, frothy waves, not today, but frothy waves, uh, water movement, whether the waves are coming in straight on or at an angle. That'll tell you how the water may be moving once you're in it and underneath it. The other thing is, is always be prepared that once you get in, right. if it's not doing exactly what you think it was doing when you evaluated it, or if the conditions change, which they can here very quickly, be prepared to get out mm -hmm. and go to an alternate site. So have a backup plan. Right, so bottom line is it's not the end of the world if the site isn't exactly what it needs to be. Absolutely. We, we want everybody to have a, a, a very enjoyable experience and the first part of that experience is being safe and being comfortable in the water and you can only do that if you keep your own personal safety forefront in your mind. Okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit specifically about our dive. So we're at a local dive site here in Okinawa. We like to call it Arc Dive and Richard is here with me and he's going to walk us through this site specifically. So Richard, I'm a new diver. What can I expect from this dive site? Well, this particular dive site here, it's, uh, it's actually an ideal dive site if it's either your first time or if it's been a while since you've actually been in the water. Okay. Uh, it's got a very easy entrance. Um, as far as uh, depth is concerned for new divers and stuff like that, those who have their actual open water, this dive site doesn't really go beyond 60 feet itself. It's, uh, it's not one of these dive sites which you're going to. A lot of people tend to go to places like Toilet Bowl and things like that when they yes. want to see the big and the extravagant stuff. But if you are taking it easy and you're looking at getting back into the water, there isn't anywhere quite like Tsunabe Seawall and in particular Arc Dive. Okay, so walk me a little bit through the topography. Once I get in the water, I've never been to this site before. I'm just using your advice okay. to well, leave my dive. Well, the second you enter down here, as soon as you come down the steps just down here, the first thing that you'll see when you get into the water is actually this concrete channel that seems to run out here. But as you go out, you've got what they would call a little classroom just down here, okay. which is ideal on a low tide just to put your fins in over here. And then as soon as you drop in over the edge, you actually have a bowl shape out there where the corals and the rocks actually create like a bowl around here. So should there be any kind of small current along here or anything like that, you're not affected once you're actually in that bowl here. Okay. That bowl eventually drops off out the end there and it drops off right down to 60 feet where you get to the sandy bottoms. And then on either side along here, you've got a beautiful wall on either side here that you can actually follow down and immediately back. And then to touch on safety one more time, can you just walk me through maybe three or four things that I'm looking for that are telling me today is not a good day to dive? Okay, well, one of the things is um, the parking just being very close here to the wall here. Um, as soon as you exit the car, the first thing you'll actually notice is the sound. You will absolutely hear the waves. If it's not diveable, the first thing that you'll be greeted by is the sound of the okay. waves crashing here against the wall. But as soon as you come up here, um, you, where you've got uh, the low-lying coral heading out there, you will see the waves rolling as they come over mm -hmm. the top here. With the concrete wall along here, if you are picked up by any waves and you're hit against the walls here, it can be quite difficult. But to be honest with you, most of the time this tends to be a very safe dive site. You've got a lot of people along here watching should anything go wrong. Mm -hmm. But like I say, providing you follow all the rules that was taught to you by your instructor, you're never really going to go wrong down here. Alright, thank you so much Richard. We'll see you out there. My pleasure. Thank you. So once again, if you are new to the island and would like to dive, come see us at Tsunami Scuba. We have courses that will help walk you through all of the local dive sites as well as instructors like Richard who can teach you everything you need to look for when you get to the site. See you next time.